So I've got two brand new drivers for 2023 in my hands we're going to test in this video and from a brand that maybe you won't associate with making an impact in the driver category. But these two clubs look quality, there's some latest technology involved in them and I think you'll be quite impressed by the performance and also the price point. So you join me down to a snowy day here at Penrith but potentially in this video things are going to heat up with these two new drivers I've got in my hands for 2023. As I mentioned this brand isn't always associated with a driver to compete in that category. So just before we carry on with the video, I want you to pause and just comment down below. If you were going to go for a driver fitting or to test some drivers, I want you to list below the first five brands that will come into your head that you'd want to try in that driver category. That's out there. That's bombed. So the brand obviously I'm talking about is Wilson. And I feel like they've got a really good, strong lineup for 2023. They've got two offerings. We've got a carbon driver as well as a titanium driver, two different price points. We're gonna hit both in this video, give you some data and potentially why I think this can stack up to some of the best drivers out there for 2023. Okay, so we're gonna start things off with their main flagship drive, which is the carbon one now. So obviously we see carbon being introduced. We saw D9 prior, there was no adjustability, no carbon, just titanium head, fixed head. Maybe you just haven't got that ability to dial into certain swing types, shot directions, etc. So we've got introduction of carbon and first impressions, this looks high quality. It looks premium. It looks great down by that gol golf ball. It sits very sort of square. Carbon, obviously back section to it, matte black front, black face. It looks really, really good in that sort of plane position. So really good sort of first instincts. Obviously flipping that head over and we see this carbon in the toe of the club. So ultimately we know what carbon does. It saves weight, discretionary weight, which is then going to be repositioned a little bit more down and forward. So the carbon head is a little bit more of a sort of low spin head in comparison to the titanium one. We've got a weighted screw at the back which is 16 grams so obviously that's going to create some MOI there, a little bit of that forgiveness levels but essentially it looks excellent down by that golf ball. Okay so let's get this first one underway, let's see how this driver performs. All right, that's a that's a great strike there. Just I pulled that up that left hand side a little bit, but straight away there, that sound is fantastic. It's a true carbon sound there, which is nice. Bit more muted, bit more dull, solid sort of feel to it. We've also got adjustabilities back. So again, D9, we didn't see that, and I think this is a good thing. You know, if you want to really sort of fine tune that loft, that. Um, face angle then we can do that through the neck sleeve and it's a six weight adjustable neck sleeve so we can move that loft up by two degrees and down by one degree with some increments in between and again that will also change that face angle so you can use that as an advantage as maybe trying to correct a certain face angle that, that player tends to sort of deliver so nice to see some adjustability working in there and the price point on the carbon driver is coming in at 399 pounds so you know you think about where other drivers are going to be sitting you know from the bigger brands in terms of over that sort of 500 pound mark they start to get quite expensive aren't they so at 399 it's a good saving but you've got the carbon you've got the adjustability and you've got some decent tech in there so just going back to the start of the video and i asked you the question if you're going to go and try some drivers what are the first five brands that enter your mind that you'd want to go and try and did wilson enter that top five if it did let me know in the comments below oh that's an absolute corker that's a super ball flight it looks to be pretty long does that one very straight yeah, really good shot there. 164 ball speed, good launch, good low spin, which is exactly what this carbon wood is trying to sort of do. Again, good solid strike, just again, working a touch at that left-hand side. But again, decent sort of spin there. Again, touching up to that sort of 300 yard marker. So what else is sort of happening inside this club face? So we've got uh, what Wilson call this DynaPower AI. So it's this artificial intelligence in this club face. So basically measuring lots of different impacts areas on the club face and, and making the face thickness either thinner or thicker in certain areas to really maximize ball speed all around this club face. Oh, wow, that's out there. That's bombed. Ball speed 166, where we go, 308. You know, we're seeing some good performances there, some really so good numbers, as good as anything I've tested, you know, with all the sort of big driver brands launching out 
into 2023. But again, probably like the title of this video, it's a driver you're probably not going to buy. And why is that? You know, I think Wilson isn't doesn't jump to the top of that queue when he will talk drivers, do they, as a brand? But all I'll probably say to you there is give it a chance. Go and try it. I think if you put this in your hand, I think you'd be pleasantly surprised. You might not get on with it. Something else might be a little bit better for you personally. Again, that's a personal choice. And that's the whole point of maybe going and get fit and trying these clubs yourselves. Get your take on these sort of golf clubs. But just give it a chance. That's all I would say to you. Oh, that's a slight off the bottom. Maybe just testing a little bit of forgiveness. Just peel off that right on that shot. That, that shot, I'm probably just going to spin up a little bit. So availability wise in the carbon version, we've got an 8 degree, a 9 degree, a 10.5 and a 12. So really big wide range of lofts there. They're all available in right hand. Left handers, you've only got the option of a 9 degree. Okay, so moving the shaft now into the titanium headed version. So obviously we're losing the carbon, full titanium. And basically what that's allowing them to do now is to keep that weight further back from the club face. This is now aimed at a golfer, but probably with a slightly slower club head speed. He's probably trying to get the launch up a little bit more maybe a little bit more spin on it and this drives a little bit more neutral to slight draw biased in terms of its characteristics so just aimed at a completely different player maybe in reference to the carbon it's a nine degree head but i've lofted this down to eight to get it to the same degree as what i've just hit with the carbon and to be honest as i've lofted that down it's opened the club face by one degree but when it's opened it sits absolutely to my eye as square as anything so with it in a normal neutral setting as in playing at nine it just sits a, a hair toed in so maybe just takes that into account a little bit if you don't like it sitting closed this might not be ideal for you but then you have that ability to adjust the loft okay decent strike again there's my little weak shot just a slight pull up that left might just miss the fairway oh no it's hanging onto the fairway there first reactions is the sound is different and as you're going to expect this is a full titanium head it's going to sound different isn't it carbon obviously as we know is a little bit more muted on that on that sound that it comes out it's sort of more of a muted deader sort of sound isn't it this is a little bit more like the livelier sort of slightly sort of tinnier sound that we used to previously before carbon came along now obviously we're still seeing the neck sleeve we've just talked about there so we've got all that adjustability as we've seen in, in the carbon version but we've still got that ai face so we've still got that sort of technology in there as well but the price point on this one is a little bit less than the carbon Yes, that's an identical shot to that first one I've hit, just to touch up that left-hand side. So the price point with this is £349, so it's £50 cheaper, so a great price point. Again, as we've seen some of these big driver brands increasing their driver prices, you know, it's getting quite a lot. So if you're not wanting to go up to that spend, then again, this is a fantastic option to go and have a look at. Oh, that's a nice ball flight. That's a better strike, to be honest. A little bit higher on the flight. Yeah, 11 and a half launch. Not bad ball speed there. Spin up a tiny bit. 302. Some nice tee shots there. So we've still got that 16 gram weight in the back of the club. But as I mentioned with the titanium, a little bit more weight's pushed back. So maybe a little bit more stability, a little bit more higher MOI is probably the offering in this titanium version. Again, good strike. Work of that left a fraction. But it feels good, it feels solid. Just a little bit of a louder sound, as we said, to, in relation to the carbon, as we're going to expect. But all in all, I think that is a really good offering as well and great price point. Okay, let's hit one more and then we'll go and just compare the numbers between those two drivers. Lovely, solid. Quite impressed with that. So availability wise in the titanium version, we've got a nine, a 10.5, and then a 13 loft and the left hand version is only available in the 10 and a half loft okay so obviously as you've been following the dispersion rings there the titanium one clearly winning for me on that little sample of five shots hit with each golf club and then when we look at the numbers it's quite interesting here so we've got the carbon on the bottom so you see 112 112 pretty much the exact, absolutely identical club head speed as you're going to expect a little bit more ball speed out of that carbon so probably with that weight being a little bit more forward, just helping on a little bit of ball speed there. Launch pretty identical and spin is pretty identical as well, actually. I mean, I did get a couple of sort of low spin there, but I was, having said that, I did with the with carbon one as well. So obviously, strike location will just sort of change your face delivery, face angle, everything like that. Again, that's the purpose of maybe going and get fitted and get that right loft and that in, uh, dynamic lofted impact really sort of dialed in but distance wise pretty similar and around that sort of 300 mark so just post comments down below has that changed your mind would you entertain trying a wilson driver in your next driver fitting i'd love to hear your thoughts as always appreciate you watching the video hopefully I'll catch you all very soon